Uh, now, here's the story. We were talking about lobsters before, and I, I have a real problem with this. First of all, uh, I eat meat, but I prefer animals to human beings. Uh, so that is a bit of a problem for me. It has been for many years. My wife's a vegetarian. She has been, well, the last 40 odd years anyway. Um, but, uh, I, vegans I find difficult to understand. I mean, I, I yeah. used to have a, a small holding of goats, chickens. We had all sorts of horses, various other things. Uh, and, and, you know, as long as animals are well looked after and, well, you uh, loved all uh, your beasts. I remember the goats. I did. I mean, yeah, you really yeah. love them. I didn't eat the goats, by the way. I did eat the chickens, and I killed the chickens, but I didn't eat the goats. Well, that's a bit, you know. What? Well, prejudiced against chickens. Not really, no. Because, um, I mean, you get eggs from the chickens. Yeah, but well, I only, only ate kill the cockles. Chickens. Oh, right. I only ate the cockles. But don't they guard the chickens? Well, you only need one, otherwise they fight like... Anyway, let's uh, forget Well, hold that. on. You keep a cockerel just to kill it? No. Well, why would the chickens be... breed, and then you get oh. lots of cockerels, and and you grow them I started, up. You grow them you know, up. I started with I see, right. six chickens, and I, I think when uh, when I sold the place and moved on, there was about sixty. That's a big holding or a medium holding, isn't well, it? There's just lots of chickens everywhere. Um, now apparently vegans are getting a little uh, 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 restless, I suppose. They are now boisterous. attacking yeah, boisterous. dairy. If I'm, well, I was going to use a much stronger term. Yeah. Um, and I might later. Um, they're blackmailing and attacking dairy farmers in particular. Um, James is a dairy farmer in Durham, and he's going to tell me the story. James, good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening. Well, thank you. That's all right. Now, whereabouts in Durham, by the way, is your farm? It's near a place called Setchfield. Oh, so I know it well. Oh. I used to live in, in, well, I used to live in a place called Prudder, uh, which, uh, is along the Tyne Valley. Yeah, yeah, it's in Northumberland, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I know Sagefield. Uh, now, what has happened to you? What have they? Why Why are they attacking you? you you're a dairy farmer. Um, because they're being, they're being stupid and silly and don't know what happens in the, in the dairy farm. Because what they're trying to do is upset our, our business, mm. you know? Like putting false information on telly, on the internet, yeah. how we look what at it. They... Yeah. I um, mean, how 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 have you been blackmailed? Um, just with red writing, which is wrong, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, being well, I called in the shop. And they're being attacked by Nick. Um, got sworn at. Really. Uh, yeah, in what shop? Coming out in a local corner shop. Yeah. Well, why um, why are why are these people attacking you in particular, James? Because the, the the thing that we don't look after our cows right, which is wrong, uh -huh. because we do we do every dairy farm in the country looks after their cows really well. I suppose the the problem here, I mean, is it worth, actually, James, a completely different story, is it worth being a dairy farmer anymore? It seems that the, the big supermarkets pay very little for the milk, even even less than it costs you uh, to, to actually reduce. produce it, yeah. Yeah, and we just fight back at them. We just say, sod you, and we sell our raw milk. Mm, okay. And, and how long have you been a farmer? How long have you been uh, on this farm? Uh, Ten years. Yeah. But I've been farming you, for 20 years. Yeah. And do, do you feel like giving it up or not? No. No. Never give okay. up. Is there any cruelty in it? I mean, because I know I've seen a vegan once told me, you know, when a male calf is born, it's basically destined to be well, slaughtered. It and, it, you know, it cries, the mother and all that. I mean, this no. goes, does that not go on? or? No, it doesn't go on. Well, how does it happen? I mean, they get separated, don't they? Yeah, they get separated two days after. Hmm. Then they get put in a nice bed with fresh straw. But the mother, you know, is obviously very upset. Well, that's the same. Whenever you separate an animal, they you all can get see upset. their point. Yeah. I mean, you know what well, I mean? Yeah, but you can't keep all those, can you? Really, if you're going to have milk. No. But no. listen, what 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 do you do? Veal anymore or not? No, never touch it. No. No. Stay with me, James. Let's talk to Joey Carbstrong. Interesting name. 
Uh, Joey is apparently a vegan YouTuber, uh, and he's uh, he feels very strongly about people uh, who eat meat. Uh, Joey, what's your problem? What's my problem? Uh, how you going, mate? I hear that you're an animal lover. Uh, I hear that the uh, other dairy farmer on the phone there also loves and cares for his animals, and I think in his mind he generally probably does, but his actions aren't consistent with that, and you can, your actions uh, have to be consistent with your belief of loving an animal. Now, uh, yes, calves are all separated from their mother in the dairy industry. The boy calves, the bobby calves, are not viable to the dairy industry, so they'll all be killed mm. at a very young age, okay? And the mothers after a life of forcible impregnation, having their children taken from there their whole life when they are spent, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to have their throat slashed open and their body, their suffered body, will be eaten. Now, 50% of the beef in this country comes from spent dairy mothers. Now, I do not agree with vegans attacking uh, single farmers because the fight is kind of with trying to change the consumer, trying to educate the Mm. consumer and get them to uh, eat more ethical options. Joey, let me just uh, let me just uh, talk about this attacking dairy farmers because a lot of farm I know farmers have a very hard life. Very often, uh, they're doing yeah. things that have been done the same way for years and years and yeah. years and generations. Uh, yeah. You're not going to stop people eating meat. You're just not going to stop it uh, wholesale. But you could make it better for the animals if every single abattoir had more restrictions and they were all on CCTV and had more inspectors the whole time, that may may make a difference. Uh, You're talking about animal welfare. I'm talking about animal liberation, freeing animals, okay? now. But how can you free a farm? You can't free a farm animal. Okay, so the reason these animals exist is because they're domesticated and bred into existence by farmers, Mm -hmm. forcibly breeding them, okay? The reason we have 74 billion land animals on Earth... They're they're bred to eat, aren't they? Yeah, they're bred to eat. That doesn't yeah. change the moral value of the animal. If I bred to eat dogs, that doesn't change the moral value of the dog. But we would never do that because we understand that mm. dogs feel pain, suffer, and want to live. In the same way a cow, chicken, and pig does, okay, what is the difference between a chow, cow, chicken, and pig to a dog? We, we, we draw an arbitrary line and we discriminate. We say these animals are condemned to slaughterhouses. These animals we love and care for. It's massive hypocrisy. And all I'm doing is educating the masses on it. Now, mm. uh, the, dairy, the dairy farmer there was a blatant liar, and I, and I don't say that lightly. When he said that uh, the bobby calves aren't destroyed in the dairy industry and that all, the whole dairy industry looks after their animals, we've got, we've got footage of uh, particular dairy farms not looking he after their animals. He didn't say they weren't, though. He didn't, no, he didn't, didn't say, say they weren't. They're, yeah. they're, they're, obviously, they yeah. are. They go for yeah. slaughter yeah. when they are a certain he, age, yeah. He, he said all dairy farms look after their animals. He said that. Let me go back. Let me, James, James, what, don't tell me, you, you look after your animals, but when your cows reach the end of their milking lifetime, you send them for slaughter, presumably. Yep. And everything's up to, oh, wow. everything's, yep. It's, um, when they go the normally 10 year old, there is, there is more health and safety people in the abattoir, the CCTVs. Yeah. But there aren't enough, unfortunately, because there are some abattoirs who behave appallingly. We've been farming longer than what vegans have been around. Well, I think uh, uh, there uh, there have been people who haven't eaten meat for thousands of years. Listen, uh, James, listen, um, do you you ever watch your animals being slaughtered? I do, yeah, and everything's uh, top-notch. Oh, wow. And does it never upset you at all? I mean, I used to, I said before, I had a small holding up in Yorkshire, and I yeah. I did kill my own chickens, which I didn't enjoy doing, but I think I did it very well, and I don't think they suffered. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I don't, I, the idea of killing animals and is pretty horrible, isn't it? Mm-hmm. There's more chemicals gone for food for vegans than it, than it does on the farm, on the farming land. <laughs> but cows, when they're queuing up, they know they're going to be slaughtered, don't they? I've seen a video once, and it was yeah. this cow, and there was but one hang, in front hang, of it. Hang it on, tried to escape. Minute. It knew that it was, Ash, it was coming. you're in favour of kosher killing, so don't well, start I, getting I, it's all Well, I mean, you know, when I hear uh, the arguments, it, it's yeah. sort of true. You can't really argue that the life isn't no, sacred, can I you? But I mean, you know. Joey, answer me this, will you? Um, I, uh, my wife is a vegetarian. She, she eats cheese and milk. She doesn't eat any animal. She eats nothing with a face, but she does like eggs, milk and cheese. Um, just, just answer, answer me this. I, and I, I prefer animals to human beings, uh, but I do eat them, unfortunately. How, how can we, how can we, uh, 
how can we sort this problem out without uh, being too... No- I mean, there, there's enough land for us to grow enough vegetables for us to eat. Well, we surely are we can have... Vegetables. We can have eggs cheese. and we can have uh, oh, we can have well, cheese, surely. No, well, eggs and cheese condemn animals to the same slaughterhouses that the meat industry condemns. What if the food? animals were left to be free? Would you be all right with eggs and cheese well, then? If if the animals weren't, that didn't happen to the animals. Well, it's, it's, no, they they wouldn't be viable for the industry, and we're still yeah. But say you know, ethic. I'm just trying to find out your ethics. You know what I mean? Okay, so, my uh, ethics. My ethics are. We need to stop exploiting sentient beings for their bodies. We're treating them as products and objects. Essentially, they are not free. We're breeding them into existence, playing God with their lives and making money off of their backs and their suffering. Okay, this is immoral. You play God when you breed plants together to make a nicer breed of tomato. Plants are not sentient (laughs) beings, okay? They they are inanimate. Uh, Well, they're not inanimate, but they're intelligent, but they are not sentient. Okay, plants do not feel pain. They do not suffer. They don't scream in terror in a slaughterhouse. A plant, a, a carrot, is not the same as a puppy dog, and it's not the same as a pig, okay? Now, plants, we're, we're currently growing between enough food to feed between 10 and 12 billion people, but we're feeding that grain to fatten up livestock so we can have steak on our plate, uh, a murdered animal. Now, there's so many issues with, this, uh, with this animal agriculture. It's all coming to the light now. Now, why not just eat plant-based meat? Why not just eat plant-based uh, alternatives? We've got plenty of them. There's no suffering involved. James, what do you think about that? Why don't you turn your dairy farm into into growing vegetables? Uh, you might even make more money that way. No, no. It's always been a dairy farm, and it always will be. The vegans talk a load of rubbish. Mm-hmm. Because the ve- vegans always think they know best, but they don't. Do, do vegans get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and smoke the cows? They do wouldn't. vegans... Do vegans stop with the the cows when they're bad? Because we ring up, we ring the vets up straight away. I mean, Joey, it's a pretty hard job being a farmer, particularly being a farmer up in in Durham, up on the north, where very little grows. You wouldn't be able to grow many vegetables up there. Hmm. Uh, I think when we're looking at issues of injustice, meaning there's a victim and a, an oppressor. Okay, the animals are the victim. They're the ones going to the slaughterhouse. It's a lot harder. They're for them. not now. Animals are going to a slaughterhouse. They are. So, so we look at it from the victim's eyes, okay, when we, we're trying to work this one out, and we say, okay, who's it harder for? Now, uh, the farmers are going to have to move into more ethical industries sooner or later, more, more plant-based industries, because people are working this out, that all dairy cows are slaughtered, they're all separated, the bobby calves are all killed. I mean, people are working this out, and, no, and they, not. they don't want to stand by it. They don't, well, they they don't must, want to stand uh, by hang it. On, hang on a minute, Joey. James, they must all eventually be, be slaughtered, surely. Yeah, when they have a good life. A yeah. good life. <laughs> a knife yeah. in the throat is not a good life, okay? That is playing God with animals' lives. I mean, no, any no, other no, animal, no, if, that, if I looked me. after my dog, if I looked after my dog and then I cut the, the dog up and ate it, I'd be arrested. People would think I was a psychopath. How, how is that looking after the animal? You know, this is just insanity. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't blame you. You're brought up into a system that thinks farming is normal and, and you're indoctrinated into a society that wants to eat animals. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, but... You know, what, your, what's your, your job? Action, what's your job? My job is to help animals, okay? I'm not making money no, off no, their no, backs. No, 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 your daytime time job. Your daytime job. My daytime job. job is helping animals that end up in a slaughterhouse because of uh, your work. That is my job, no, my full-time job. No, no, no. My yes, work is. is to put food on people's tables, which they like. Potatoes are food? Why not, why yeah. not potatoes? Why, why does it have to be, a, uh, you know... In Yulin, China, they eat dog flesh. They eat dogs. Yeah. Now, now, some people's job to cut up those dogs, to stab them to death. Now, is that a moral job just because they're feeding people dog flesh? What is the moral we've difference been, between a dog we've and a We've been pig? eating food and for, a cow. We've been eating meat for thousands of years. So what? Slavery was around for 400 years. That doesn't make it moral just because it's done traditionally. Okay? Now, yeah. morality is different to tradition. Okay? Just because it's legal does not make it moral either. There's a sentient yeah. being that people are forgetting in this situation. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Justify it. How do you justify it, my friend? How do you how do you how do you make it okay to take an animal's life against their will to exploit them for their body when they have no choice in this? Make it okay. Tell us that it's okay. You can't just declare it. Well, my job I've been farming for nearly I'm nearly forty, I've been farming for twenty years. Okay. All the cows are well look at, well looked after. Mm-hmm. All the cows are out in the summer, they get a fresh bite of grass. They all have specially names. They all get treated 
well. And the problem is with vegans is they look at halal meat, which is totally not the wrong. No, I'm not. I'm not. Your meat, my friend. The meat from your dairy cows when they get shot in the head. Okay, they shouldn't. The animals should not be grateful because you let them out and give them some grass. They shouldn't be grateful to be going to a slaughterhouse to be bolt gunned in the head. Okay, that's not looking after animals, my friend. Looking after animals is leaving them alone and let them live in peace. Joey, how do you feel about these religious people who uh, have to say prayers over their meat and then they think it's all well but done if they? Uh, it's it's no different to what this gentleman's doing. Okay, no, they're both. But it's worse, isn't it? In many cases, because they Sorry, don't just worse? stun them first. How is it worse? They both they both have beliefs that killing animals and eating them is okay. One is using religion to justify it. He's using tradition to justify it, which is just as fickle justification. No, but I just want you to I'm, listen. I'm uh, I'm making my mind up about this, and okay. the more I okay. hear you, the more I worry okay. about eating meat. But listen, how how can it be better to slit an animal's throat without stunning it first? Or maybe it is. I don't know. I never said it was better. I said it's okay. just as bad. Okay. Well, now, do, if we want to get do vegans pray when they're going to eat the lettuce? I ask that. What 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 significance does that have in this moral debate about murdering animals? Because vegans. What significance does that have? Because vegans talk a lot of rubbish, and they all should be banned from doing what they do. What helping animals? We should be banned from trying to end animal slavery and animal cruelty and animal murder. It's not animal cruelty. They're well looked after. A, a bolt gun in the head, taking an animal's life when they have an interest in living, is cruel. Taking a human's right. life is cruel. Taking a dog's life is cruel when they have an interest in living, in continuing their life. Can I ask you, uh, Joey, I, I have a number of dogs. In fact, Daisy May yeah, sitting mate. down here is getting quite upset about you talking <laughs> about eating dogs, I, I must tell you. Are, Sorry, are, are you, well, are you one of the... Kangaroo? Are you Sorry. one of these vegan? Hang on, just a minute. Are you one of these yeah. vegans who thinks that keeping any kind of animal as a pet is wrong? Okay, I'm going to tell you a vegan position on pets. Uh, we rescue dogs from uh, being killed, put down at the RSPCA uh, shelter. Okay, so the only life we could offer them, other than euthanasia, if they can't find a home, is rescuing them and bringing them into our home. We have no other choice for these animals. They've been domesticated like other animals have. So we rescue them. Okay, we don't believe in breeding animals into existence, like breeding more dogs. Alive. No yeah, so, so we rescue the ones that are there, and they're companion animals. We offer them the best life that we possibly can. Yeah. And would you sterilise them then, because you'd want to breed them out then, ethically? I don't think breeding animals into existence is a good thing. I think domestication needs to be controlled. I don't think domestication is a good thing. It's a man-made disaster. Okay, now, um, the dogs are not being sent to a slaughterhouse to be bolt gunned in the head and have their flesh eaten like cows are, okay, or like pigs are. Just as intelligent. All right. Just in as fact, intelligent. more... Some pigs more, more so. intelligent than more, a lot. So. Um, James, thank you very much indeed. Just one last question I would like to ask you, Jay. What would yeah, you say to those those people who get very wound up by this whole thing, those vegans who go and attack people like James, uh, who's doing a job he's done for a long time? Yeah. And it it seems to me you are you are uh, uh, okay with one kind of cruelty, cruelty against human beings and not against uh, animals. And that not at all. Me. Not at all. I do not advocate for people to attack uh, farmers like uh, Jane. And I think I, I advocate against that. And I actually pull people up on that. And I really do. But I think we have to look at, uh, we, we need perspective in this situation. Okay. Now, vegans are angry. Like uh, you would be angry if your dog was destined to slaughter by the U Yulin Dog Eating Festival. If someone walked up to you with a dog in the, with your dog in, in a sandwich, you would be angry too. And it, so the vegan's anger don't is justified. This, Daisy, but, but I, but I, oh, sorry, Daisy, but I don't think it's okay for us to go and attack farmers because farmers are just supplying a demand to consumers. So the, the responsibility falls on the hands of consumers, not the farmers. The farmers are responsible in a certain way, but the consumers are putting them in work aren't they? So All right, good point. Money, yeah. James, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Joey, thank you both very much. This is a discussion that will continue, but please, uh, let's not have people attacking farmers who are doing a job to the best of their ability. But I have a real problem in 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 uh, eating meat and, and squaring that problem up with the fat. And I look into Daisy May's eyes here, you know, and I think to myself, uh, what is the difference? I, I, there's a bit of me yeah, that yeah. thinks if you are, if you kill your own animal for your own food, then maybe that's okay. But we can't do that. We can't. Still do cruel, that. isn't it? 
it's still cruel. And there is another part of me that says when I, I, in fact, I took, I did the supermarket shopping today. I hope you're proud of me. I am. uh, Um, and I didn't buy much meat and I looked in the supermarket and all the meat, the dead flesh. Yes. Is made to look as un yes I like un, it like animal that. I like as want, possible I don't want it to know, to know it was an animal I like it as neatly packaged you see I find yeah. that I find that and yeah. I know he's making a joke but I find that yeah. appalling I remember I did a show once on a radio station it wasn't this one and uh, the whole program was taken up with complaints uh, people had been complaining about a butcher's shop. And the butcher's shop had whole animals hanging in the window. Yeah, I don't like, like they used don't to. Like that. I don't like that. Puts like me off the meat. Used to. Yeah. yeah, well, and they'd complained that it was en route for a lot of children to go to school and they saw these dead animals hanging in the window. And I thought, this is excellent. This is what kids need to. If you're going to eat meat, you need to know that an animal gave its life. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not a vegan. Uh, I, I am, I've got fish in my fridge. Yeah. They're dead, I've got they're dead. Though. Yeah, they're, they're dead. dead yeah. I've got uh, cheese and eggs in my fridge, and uh, I've been because I'm doing a bit of cooking at the moment. As you know, yeah. I've been doing lots of these tin soups. You know, loads of beans and chili soups. Very nice. Not Delicious, sure if it's man. good for me, me, but hungry, they are very nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, listen, your thoughts. Zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Pick up phone. Give us a call. Are you a vegan?